What's up, guys? This is Tempest. Uh, doing a little patch review here. I realized this patch came out, uh, I believe it was last week, but a lot of things in these in this patch notes um, I was not I was very not okay with. I was a little pissed off, and this might be something I do more of in the future. Is when the patches come out, I'll review them. So let's let's jump to it. Let's see what Riot has to say. Genius Riot. Uh, welcome to the patch notes. Supports get to have nice things too. Supports aren't that weak. Bot lane, you know, we're nerfing Aurelia and Vladimir, blah, blah, blah. Ah, the teleport plays. Yeah, all right, we'll get to that later. Sincerely, all these people. Okay, starting with the Blitzcrank nerfs. We are nerfing Blitzcrank. In his current state, Blitz is an unstoppable force in the bot lane. His standard pattern of engagement... All right, wait, 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 wait. Standard pattern. His, his pattern is very standard. Literally, you, you land the hook, and then you knock up all, whatever. It, it's exactly like they said. It's very reliable. Okay, all right. It's not... It's, it's reliable, but literally his entire kit basically revolves around the fact that you hit that hook. So yeah, you should you just shouldn't get hit by the hook, and then there's no need to nerf all this other stuff. Um, so I I mean I don't know why they're this 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 is stupid here. The, I don't know why it's pulling him not all the way to him. Uh, this this isn't an, this isn't a huge deal. Actually, none of these nerfs are huge to me. This might this is the big the Q is the biggest one. That's that just give, makes you not have as much, as much time with your E on. And then this is actually better late game. So that's fine. And then this 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 addition is good. I guess the reason why I'm so pissed is that I think Blitz is in a is in a pretty bad state to begin with. Ever since they added that stupid thing where his W slows himself after he gets out of the speed up. And I, and I never thought he was a great support to begin with. I mean, you literally have Nautilus and Thresh that are like better versions of Blitz. Albeit maybe less fun, but... So I don't, I don't get this. We need to be buffing Blitzcrank, not nerfing him. Uh, moving on, Lulu. Uh, Q damage on additional targets. Actually, I did. You know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start contradicting myself. I, I came in all pissed off, but I actually like this change on Lulu. Second, you know, the second person hits, does less damage. That's fine. The slow duration is better. And the Whimsy gives you attack speeds. So that's a lot better for support Lulu. And better CC all around. So good job, Riot. You did get with Lulu. And yep, I'm gonna eat even more shit because I like these Tom Kench buffs. See, and then they don't they don't understand why buffing Tom Kench is a would would be conceived as a bad thing. Like I think buffing Tom Kench is fine. I don't think he's OP right now, um, unless I'm playing him. And then maybe maybe they saw me uh, playing him. I don't know. Uh, this is this is a good addition. Buffs up his early game. Basically, the bonus damage you get from building health. Instead, it was the passive on his ult, meaning you can only get it. At, uh, you could as soon as you get it was rank six or level six. And you get it at level one. Um, they're buffing the damage on his tongue lash. That that's that's. I mean, his tongue lash was fine. I thought this has changed. Uh, what did they do here? The shield never no longer decays. So I think basically they they you don't convert all the health, but it doesn't decay. So it's kind of a tit for tat, I guess, depending on what situation you're in. I I I don't I don't really know what to think of this. And then Abyssal Voyage is yeah they got rid of that the passive like I said earlier. The channel duration is less cast delay. So this is better too. <clears throat> they increase the range, um, cast delay. That's like think of like Pantheon ult takes forever for him to get there. This is this is going to be more instant. I've been I've actually played Tom Kench on the current patch, and his ult is a lot easier uh, to maneuver. All right, let's move on to Thresh. This is I'm probably not going to have much to say on this one because I don't really give a shit about Thresh. It's weird that they're I mean Thresh is going to be good no matter what. Epic monsters. I guess that's a buff. Epic monsters drop two souls. That's cool. They removed the AP ratio on his W, now gains plus one shield. What does that mean? Alright, you know, didn't, didn't come in prepared for this one. I don't know what 
gains plus one shield per soul collected. What is the shield? Alright, whatever. Oh, is that? Oh, 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 that's, that's on his W. So you get, okay. So you get more of a shield late game. I like that, that's fine. Alright, they buff Thresh, that's... I don't think that'll be, like, wicked, but, yeah, good for good for Thresh, I guess. I don't really care. Okay, Zyra. Um, okay, Zyra's pretty AIDS, so let's see what they did here. Um, seed spawn time is longer, that's good, so her seeds will not spawn as frequently. Uh, they fixed a bug on her Q, very good, very good. And ammo recharge time. Okay, so basically what they did was they increased the amount that her seeds can pop up and damage you. So uh, I guess, you know, that, that that we'll see if that does anything. I, I haven't seen Zyra on this patch yet, so we'll see. Zillion, bug fix, who cares? Uh, Nar, 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 Nar. Let's see. Boomerang throw, more distance. Damage, so they're buffing, they're buffing Gnar. I didn't really read this one too much. Okay, so they're giving him more range, and they're giving him more damage. This is a very minor buff, so, I mean, that's fine. I mean, I, I, have, I don't really play Gnar. That's, well, we're going to move on from that one. All right, let's get to Aurelia. All right, ah. <sighs> I guess uh, Aurelia is so strong right now, especially since they changed Trinity Force. So basically they're like, oh, we added more cooldown reduction to Trinity Force. Now let's just increase the cooldown on her on her uh, ult. So it's basically like kind of uh, the same, or I, 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 I'm not going to do the math, but it's kind of a trade-off there. Let's, why are we nerfing that? Aurelia's just broken right now, and I, I don't know. She, she can do so much damage while, while being tanky and... And she has CC and all that. Like, I mean, maybe the pro I guess the problem is you can't really nerf too much of that without really fucking her up. Because I feel like Aurelia is either useless or broken. And uh, I miss when she was useless. I'll, I'll be honest. I'll be completely honest. So for now, we'll live with the lower cooldown or the higher cooldown. That's 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 really high early game. So I mean, early game she's not because like this this her cooldown her ult was a joke. Like you could ult all the fucking time. So that's I that's actually a pretty substantial uh, nerf early game. So we'll, we'll live with that. Jarvan, I used to play a good amount of Jarvan. What, what are they going to do here? Base shield is lower. Bonus shield is higher. Radius is higher. Okay. Whoopty fucking do. Jarvan. Kindred. Ah. Okay. You know. Right. You might. You may have finally done it. You may have finally killed the unkillable demon king, Kindred, in the jungle. This is this is a wall of tech. Let's get down to the nitty gritty. All right, they flipped around the armor. Basically, more armor growth, less base armor. That's not the big deal. Here's the uh, here's the money maker right here. The the wolf's frenzy. The W no longer heals. Instead, it reduces jungle monsters' attack speed. Genius. The heal was so good. Her her jungle clear was amazing. She could just clear the jungle, take no damage, just twirl around all the camps. And I think that, like, it's good that they replaced that with the reducing attack speed because otherwise I think that would just be too much. I mean, that would, just taking that out would be would be enormous. But guess what? Um, you can't heal now, or... This is only, it only reduces uh, the attack speed and movement speed of jungle monsters, not like enemy champions or enemy any, anything else. So basically, she's, it's, it's keeping her somewhat strong in the jungle, but not strong fighting-wise. Okay, thank God Kindred is not as good. I played, I mean, this Kindred was on my team, and she was pretty fucked. So let's hope that people will stop playing Kindred. All right, Swain, um... I haven't seen that much Swain, to be honest. Um, I feel like a couple patches ago, he was play a lot, but now now they're increasing the... Okay, so they're making his ult, so you can't just like flip it on and off all the time. That makes sense to me. Uh, that's always been sort of the issue with Swain, is that he can go in and out of uh, bird, bird man form, but uh, bird Jesus form. Okay, cool. Uh, Syndra's a bunch of bug fixes. Really, it should be damage fixes. Syndra just too much fucking damage, but 
for now. They're going to bug fix her, which is technically a buff, so whatever. Uh, Trundle's health regen down. I mean, that makes sense due to his passive giving you health and his W giving you health regen. And yada, yada, yada. Less health regen. That's fine. Uh, Q, uh, uh, I guess this is like a bug fix for Twitch. All right, Vladimir. Okay, here's here's another one where I'm scratching my head. Because they they changed all this shit with Vladimir, and one of them was the passive ratio, which I really liked. I thought it was great that you could build tank and get, and it was more, or it, was, it was more beneficial to build tank to get passive AP than the other way around. Whereas before the rework, if you're building tank, you really weren't getting that much AP at all. And now it's back to the pre-work and pre-rework. And maybe Vladimir was pretty broken with the amount that he could heal. But I mean, come on! Like they they did not change the fact that Vladimir is literally a sitting duck in a lot of cases. So um, so they flipped that back. So they basically basically they made it better to build AP again, which I guess that's fine. Um, nerfed nerfed the Q. All right. I mean. Why well, you got to do that? I mean, I, I guess Vladimir is, is pretty pretty OP right now, but I, I, I don't see this being the issue because... Oh, oh, the increase. They increased the, the ability power. Okay, that makes sense now. I was like, why are you incentivizing AP if you're going to nerf the ratio? Okay, no, no, never mind. Base damage is lower, ratio is higher. That's fine. That's, all right. Woo! Still not, still not a huge fan of this riot, but uh, moving on. The Volibear nerf. All right. <laughs> Literally haven't seen that much Volibear at all, but... Um, yeah, Volibear, let's nerf Volibear. Good good job. So his W sucks early game and is the same late game. So, all right. Let's make a fun champion less fun. All right, cool, yeah. Uh, bug fix on Ziggs, cool, cool, cool. Terrain abilities. Um, you know, I don't even really care about this. Uh, Howling Abyss, who cares? Um, all right, they changed around all these support items. I don't even know if I want to get into the items too much. Uh, coin give you cooldown reduction. Increased cooldown reduction. Talisman of Deception now builds out of Raptor's Cloak instead of Forbidden Idol. What is Forbidden Idol? Oh, 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 oh I know what that is. Okay. All right, change the build path. It seems like they're just making these, this item is just better now. Which makes sense, because, like, Talisman of Ascension, nobody got. Like, no one got that item. It was bad. It was pretty. It was probably the worst of the three. Um, so, yeah, cooldown reduction, and then now, obviously, all these stats are going to change, because it builds out of Raptor's Cloak and not uh, fair, whatever Forbidden Idol, which is basically a limp dick of CDR and Mana Regen, I believe. It's something dumb that doesn't feel very fun to build. Okay, Relic Shield. Uh, Meaning execute scales level good, so if you suck at last hitting, it's better now. Uh, that's literally all they changed. All right, bravo, bravo. Uh, spell feeds edged. Killing never, killing pets no longer. Puts tribute on cooldown. All right. Oh, okay. Like Zyra plants, maybe like Heimerdinger turrets. Cool. All right. So that's technically a buff. Uh, Forbidden Idol, who cares? This item sucks. Bonus healing and shield. Oh, okay, so they made it, like, more of a not limp dick item, but it's more expensive, but it has this. All right, that's fine, that's fine. Uh, and then literally, are these just going to be all the items that build out of, yeah, Ardent Sensor. Ardent Sensor, Mikhail's, now build out of Forbidden Idol. Or maybe they did before. More AP for more heals. Cost and ability power increase, mana regen decrease, now amplifies. So basically, since the this, I believe this builds into Ardent Sensor and Mikhail's. Uh, so that's what they did. Yep, to account for Forbidden Idol. Okay, okay. Uh, cost, ooh, this is good. Yeah, Ruby Sightstone is like, now that you have these support items that can combine together, it's like Ruby Sightstone. I feel like you only really get it if you're playing like a Cinderhold jungler, which is... Becoming less and less common. Ruby Sightstone's high cost. So combined cost is lower. Active item cooldown reduction. All right. All right, they buff Ruby Sightstone. Good, because this item is kind of like lame right now. 
Uh, spells can no longer be cast by Protobelt's Dash. Awesome. Um, I haven't actually used this item ever, but uh, probably needs to be nerfed a little bit, so that's fine. Uh, Ward's Grand Experience, awesome. Global Experience Pacing, Post-Death Kill Experience, Early Kill Rewards. I, I'm, I'm going to kind of breeze through all this. None of this is really, none of this I really have read up too much on, so I don't have much of an opinion on any of this. Um, now we're going to go to a good old, uh, good old section here. The uh, teleport nerf. Channel duration added a split second. Um, and the and the ping is cool. Yeah, so this is this is this is whack because like it's 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 you're like, oh it's only a second more. It used to be, you know, three point five, but still a lot, now it's four point five. No, you can tell, like and and it's and it's just hilarious because it works both ways. Whenever I try to teleport in, it seems like you know you gotta. You, I, I, it's trying to make you like react to a situation. Like, should I teleport or should I not? And honestly, now it's just like, yeah, you should try to teleport in. And if it looks like it's gonna not be a thing, then just cancel it because it's more worth to try to to try to get there and just start the channel because the channel takes so freaking long. But it works the other way where I played against people where they channel in and they get there too late. So. Um, yeah, I get what they're trying to do, because, like, double TP meta is a thing. Mid lane and top lane both run TP. They don't want that for some reason. I guess they want mid laners taking Ignite or Exhaust or Barrier or Revive or not Revive. Um, cleanse. I don't know. But I like running TP on my mid laners. Hasn't changed a thing. Just use it to teleport back to lane. Doesn't matter how long it takes, so. Sorry, Riot, you lost that one. All right. Moving on, dragons and repair no longer living level up during combat. All right, that's pretty annoying. Uh, so that's cool that they did they did that. Um, attack move ranked emblems. I think this is about it. Scheduled rank fives. Yay! Thank God they bring back rank fives. Uh, friend list bug fixes. Upcoming skins. Fantastic. All right. Uh, well, you know. All in all, I think, uh, let's see, I was the most upset about Blitzcrank and the Teleport nerf, I believe. Those are my two big ones. And just the state of Blitzcrank. But, you know, all in all, a okay patch. There's some good, there's some bad. So, yeah, alright, that's all I got. Tempest out.